Thank you, PlayStation, for the free copy of Blood and Truth for the PlayStation VR. You see, when they reached out to me asking me if I'd like a copy of it, I couldn't reply fast enough. This is the game I've been waiting for for such a long time, ever since playing London Heist back in the day, when I was like, man, we just need a London Heist game. And then here's a game inspired by London Heist, and does it hold up to everything I was hoping it would? And the quick answer is that and then some. Now, when you start the game, you're in this kind of interrogation room. So you're not really sure exactly what's going on, what's going down, why you're even there. But then as you uh, sit there long enough, some dude walks in and starts asking you questions. The questions that apparently you have answers for. But you answer your questions in the form of flashbacks. And the flashbacks are what the game is in the first place. They go all the way back to your time at the war... And the graphics are just gorgeous, like for especially for PlayStation VR. Now, I'm capturing this footage uh, through the PlayStation 4 Pro, and I'm using two Move controllers. Now, you can play this game through your DualShock if you'd like, but just to be more immersed, I'm standing up and using my, uh, my Move controllers, though it doesn't seem like you have to stand, though I'm just used to it. It controls like, remember, uh, well, it's like a cover shooter, like a cover shooter, consider that. Um, instead of like walking around left, right, back, right, you just um, look to where you want to go and then click your button and then you'll go to that next area. See what those arrows are? That's what that's all about. No, this little first area when you're in this war, this flashback, is basically your tutorial stage. So as you're going through, you're learning how to open doors. You're learning how to uh, holster your weapon, how to reload when you need to, how to aim. In fact, one of the first things you have to do is aim at this uh, ladder to get it to uh, drop down. And as you can clearly see, I'm having trouble. <laughs> there we go. Now, again, making it more immersive and interactive, you also have to literally climb the, cla the ladder. Actually do the motions, left, right, left, right. You know, especially when you're playing with the uh, move controllers, I would absolutely 100% recommend playing this with your move controllers. You'll find ammo along the way. There are also two modes you can play this. You can play the normal mode. There's also a casual mode. I wanted to do the normal mode, though. Here comes your first time. you got to... Gotta holster your weapon, gotta unholster it. There you go. A little slow motion action, and you know, just like any other shooter. Now you can go uh, cover shooter, you can also strafe left and right to block yourself. It is environmental 3D, which means you can duck behind this uh, if they shoot at you, and you can kind of peek around the corners, maybe, you know, drop under a box, you know, lift your gun above the box, and, you know, <laughs> hopefully get them before they get you back. Uh, I can't tell you how fun this was. Um, I've been looking for a game like this for quite some time, and I love how environmental this is. I love how everything looks. And again, this is just the tutorial stage. Imagine what's going to look like later on when you're in, like, you know, modern-day London <laughs> as you're going through what you're doing here. Now, again, through this tutorial, you're going to get these little shadows that talk about, you know, what to do next, where to go. You even have a little toolkit here that will help you out along the way. You actually have to use some lockpicks. I've never actually used a lockpick like this before, but... You know, in doing so, hey, it makes me feel really smart. I feel like I can actually buy a set of lockpicks and do this in real life. I'm sure it doesn't work exactly that way. <laughs> but I'm halfway tempted to <laughs> to give it a shot sometime down the line. Um, partway through this tutorial stage, you end up, you know, rescuing the person that you're there to rescue in the first place. And um, it goes through this great cinematic here of um, just, you know, it's kind of like, a, imagine like an auto-scrolling but then still first-person shooter. It's basically like, like an on-rail shooter. It's like an on-rail shooter. you got to get them, of course, before they get you. It's hard to just play the game, because all I want to do is just look around and look at the sights, look at the scenery. They did themselves very, very proud with Blood and Truth exclusively for the PlayStation VR. Now this part here, this is right around the time I realized that some of the buttons on your move controller can actually give you different uh, hand signals. Sometimes it's a thumbs up. You know, other times it's maybe something not as <laughs> not as friendly. <laughs> but that's kind of fun too. It, is, it makes it fun for the interactive, for the narrative when you're just standing around talking to someone. You can flash in some hack signals, maybe a thumbs up, maybe a peace sign, you know. Uh, this mode here, this part here, should be very, very familiar if you're familiar with London Heist. I mean, this this is basically straight from that game, and this is exactly what the kind of um, mission I've been kind of hoping for would be in this. And you get it right off the bat. I love that, right? 
Nothing wrong with that at all. Now, after the tutorial stage, your brother picks you up at the airport in a very kind of a uh, funny scene. And then during this is kind of during the title sequence. And um, there's like knobs on these cars too. I was just blown away by the fact that I can actually change the air conditioning. I can actually, you know, put the window up and down. And this is just, you know, just makes it go through the tutor the, uh, the titles, the, um, you know, a little bit of the credits scene and all that. But then once you get through it, once the credits are over, once the title sequence is finished, you're back into the interrogation room. He has more questions, and now you got to figure out exactly what's going down with your family, who you're looking for, who they're looking for. This is your mom. Be careful. Nah, she's cool. Your mom's cool in this game. Of course, um, through the narrative, as the story unfolds a little bit more, you learn a little bit more about your family. You learn a little bit more about, you know, you know, why are there bad guys after your family? What's going on? You know, why are there people here? <laughs> well, it all it all unfolds the more you play along, and you will be playing along for quite some time because this is not a quick one hour, two hour experience that a lot of PlayStation VR games are. This game start to finish, it's going to be a few hours, a few hours to several hours. I've heard anywhere be clocked between five to seven to eight. So you're getting your money's worth. You're absolutely getting your money's worth with a game like this, and a lot of reasons to go back and replay some of those missions, too. There's other unlockables. There's uh, items you can find. You pick up an item, hey, I found this. You get a star. Certain stars, you get so many of them, you can actually, you know, unlock some other things within the game. I love that about this game. Look at that shelf. See that? Talk about meta. <laughs> Again with the lock picking and all that. Um, this is this is such a fun game. I just can't overhype exactly uh, what's going on here. Now, uh, this part of the game, I'm just I gotta get some. You know, if it, if it's laying around, I can grab it. I'm gonna interact with it for sure. I'm just moving around here, trying to find out, see where I'm going. Can't find out where else to go. Yeah, may as well pull yourself up. And now again, just like climbing the ladder, this is a little bit interactive too. Hand over hand, as you're crawling through these ventilation shafts. <laughs> again, environmental too, so you can lean over a little bit, scoot in a little bit, look around the corner, see if it's safe. Trying to find out where you're going here. Now, I, um, I broke into this. This particular scene, again, uh, is all about um, you know just trying to find out what's going on and looking for someone, and hey, look at this, I'm inside a casino, and I found the part where I can operate the cameras inside this the casino. And again, immersive, interactive, you can go to different cameras, use the joysticks to move around, look around, I'm trying to find a clue, I'm trying to find something, is what I'm doing in this part of the game. So it's not just, you know, like running, gunning, shooting, more talking, there's other elements along the way too, where it's like, oh, I can control the camera, and I gotta find out what's going on. Reminds me a little bit like Night Trap in a way. <laughs> All right, just going from camera to camera to find out where you need to go next. Uh, very, very cool, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy about this game. It's one of those things I can't wait to go back, not just to you know play more of this game, but even to go back through the previous missions and play them over again. See what else I can find. See what other things I can find in the nooks and crannies and all that. Inside the casino now, I'm actually setting up explosives in a very interactive way. I gotta put them up all over this casino. They're gonna keep on letting me know where I can put them down, where I can put them, where I can place them. That's a good, that's a good spot. Good a spot as any, I suppose. <laughs> Why not? Again, I just wanna look around. Man, it's so beautiful. There's some other enemies down here too. In fact, the enemies that are uh, kind of patrolling the area, they're preventing me from moving to the next stage of the area preventing me from moving forward. Fortunately, I'm hidden enough. There we go. A little bit of that for you. All right, now I can move on. Now I can move forward. Very, very cool. There's another feature I want to talk about. It's kind of the slow motion feature. These bigger guys here, you can do the slow motion feature, the precision moments, and take them out precisely, exactly where you want to take them out. And that's, uh, that's the way to do it, too. So again, I have to thank PlayStation for providing me a free digital copy of this game. It's called Blood and Truth. It is available right now. And as uh, we play some music on the dance floor, right now I'm doing this to create a uh, distraction. <laughs> Doesn't get more much much more distracting than this, huh?
I encourage you to check it out for yourself. Available in stores. It's available for digital purchase as well. Uh, whatever is easiest for you. If you want to have a physical copy to put on your shelf, please do. If you want to download it right now, play it immediately, please do. Either way you look at it, this is a must own. This is a must have. I can't recommend this enough. I have to say, I have to think about it, and I have to say, this might be the best PlayStation VR game to date. And I'm not kidding. It's that good. And if you dig PSVR as much as I do and love more PSVR content, make sure you're subscribed and check out the other PSVR videos I've done in the past. Till next time, we'll see you later.